Hi, this is Info Puppet, and today we're going to look at a way to open up two different files or two different images at the same time in Photoshop Elements. So let's go ahead and open up Photoshop Elements, and you open up a file. Let's check out a picture of me here. Boom. And I all I was trying to do is to try on some contact lenses, so I wanted to open up um, an image of the contact lenses I was looking at and there they are and boom and what Photoshop Elements does all the time is it only opens up the new one and you can't see them both at the same time so what do you do so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go up to Adobe Photoshop Elements editor and you actually that's actually a place to click on and you click on Adobe Photoshop Elements editor and select preferences and then go to general and select general and here's your uh, box here and here's the problem right here you have to click on the box that says allow floating documents in full edit mode and you go ahead and click on that and then you select OK in the upper right hand corner here and well, well where's my image oh my gosh what's, where's my image well you're not done yet uh, now you have to go up to window go up to window and select images and then select float all in windows and there you go and now, see, this is what I wanted to do. Oops, and every once in a while it'll do that. So I have to go back to images and float all in window. Okay. All right, so what I wanted to do was, and I'm not going to go through the process, but I wanted to take my magic wand tool and uh, select uh, a contact lens and drag it over to my image so I could see how it looks on me. Here's my, my green lens here. Let's see if I can get this over. There we go and oh yes uh, i love it it's beautiful what do you think guys so so again to get both of these open at the same time i just clicked on uh adobe photoshop elements editor and then preferences and then general and then i made sure that this box allow floating documents in full edit mode is checked part one part two is going to window and then images and then float all in windows Okay, and there you go.